the Beatles collection so far. Um, this is all the vinyl stuff I have at the moment, so um, it's a bit of a mixed mixed bag, but uh, got some nice pressings here. So um, first up is Please Please Me, uh, original UK uh, mono parlophone. Um, this is an early pressing from 1962, but on the um, on the yellow label. Uh, sleeve's a bit battered, but it actually plays really nicely. Um, great quality, I mean, for an old record. Very good. Then we have uh, With the Beatles. Again, uh, this is uh, an early pressing, 1963. Um, there's a bit of handwriting on the back there, Jackie. Released in 1963, so... Uh, Again, a very nice pressing of this album on the yellow parlophone label. Um, I picked this up at a record fair for about a fiver, so it was pretty good. I mean, the sleeve's not in great shape, it's a bit yellow and everything, but um, plays brilliantly, which is the important thing. Um, next up, Hard Day's Night. Again, uh, original mono parlophone. On the yellow label, another really uh, lovely playing album. I mean, the sleeve is, is very battered, but uh, I got this for three pounds, and it really does play brilliantly considering how old it is. Nine sixty four. Beatles for sale. Oh, all right, way around. Beatles for sale. Another mono uh, parlophone. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, early pressing on uh, with the yellow label, the fold out sleeve, of course. Um, again, it plays very nicely. Uh, I do really like Beatles for so sale. A lot of people um, seem to count it as one of the weakest Beatles albums, but I think it's, it's pretty good. I mean, you know, there's some great performances on there. So I was pleased to get that. Again, you know, just for about four pounds. Um, help. This is a uh, stereo um, polyphone pressing, I think probably from about mid 70s. Not quite sure. Some thinner vinyl with the black label. Um, but you know, very good condition. Um, plays really well. Rubber Soul, this is the uh, recent mono reissue from uh, a year or two back. Uh, they recreated it very, very well with the flip backs and everything, and uh, sounds excellent. I mean, I kind of wish I got a few more of these mono vinyls, but they're, they're pretty high, high priced um, in, in the UK at least. Revolver, um, again, this is a. Black label parlophone. I got this in the early 80s, so I think it was obviously an early 80s pressing. Um, great album. Sergeant Pepper. This is the um, stereo uh, reissue from 2012. Um, sounds great. I love it. Sergeant Pepper Mono, which is uh, the, again the reissue a couple of years ago, and again sounds great. It's, and you know the Sergeant Pepper album, obviously in mono, has lots of different mixes, um, and you've got she's leaving home at a different speed to the stereo version, and uh, Lucy in the Sky and Diamonds with the, you know the extra phasing effects. And I do overall, I think I, I kind of prefer the mono, but as with anything with the Beatles, it's always great to have both. Um, because they did have so many little quirks and differences between the two mixes. Magical Mystery Tour, this is the uh, 2012 reissue again, sounds great, I think. Um, it'd be nice to have original, I'd love to have the original EP of this actually, but it's very hard to get hold of it in uh, a sort of decent condition, a decent price, so... Um, but it's a great album, I mean, this is effectively the US album, um, with the 
singles on side two, uh, Strawberry Fields, um, Penny Lane, et al. Um, but you know, I think it really works as an album, so fantastic. Uh, white album. This is a pressing from I think probably the early 70s, 1972, 73 maybe. Um, it's a French pressing on Pathy Maconi manufactured. Uh, the sleeve's a bit knackered, unfortunately, but um, it doesn't. I don't have the poster or the uh, inserts, but um, I got it quite cheap, and it does. It does play really well. I mean, it's a beautiful sounding album. Um, the vinyl sounds great. And I've got uh, Abbey Rose. This one is, I think, the first, not first pressing, but it's uh, an early pressing. Um, Unfortunately, it has got a bit of a scratch on side two, um, which does tend to jump a little bit, but um, apart from that, it sounds great. And then I've got another Abbey Road. This is just another 80s pressing, which I got when I was first getting into the Beatles. Um, and uh, unfortunately, this one got a slight scratch on side one during Come Together, so it's kind of like I need both the copies to listen to the album all the way through without any hiccups, but um, they both sound pretty good. Let it be. Uh, this is just an early pressing from the 70s, I think, 1970. Um, yeah, good stuff. Hey Jude, it's the uh, American compilation that I think it came out. I think it might have come out before Let It Be, I'm not quite sure. Um, but it had all the, the songs that had never been uh, released um, in America to that point. So it includes a strange mishmash of. Obviously, Hey Jude, Revolution, and then you've got earlier stuff from uh, the Hard Days Night sort of period, like Can't Buy Me Love, I Should Know Better. Um, and then Rain, Old Brown Shoe. So, you know, it's a good sounding compilation. I think this is an 80s pressing from Canada. It's on a purple label, Capital. Um, and it, it sounds really nice, yeah. So, on to the compilations now. So, I've got a few of these. So, it's the. The classic 1962 to 66, which I've had since the 80s, so it's just an easy press of that. Great compilation, um, probably for a lot of people, the starting point, the entry point to getting into the Fab Four. Uh, of course, it's the Blue Album, this is just a 70s pressing of that. Uh, this came out about 1973. Again, this is the, probably the first Beatles album I ever had. I had it on cassette. I played that to death uh, back in the day. So, um, yeah, great comp. And then uh, I got this one quite recently, actually. This is rock and roll music, which um, is just a fantastic compilation of uh, the Beatles' more upbeat rock and roll stuff. Um, I had this on cassette back in the 80s, um, it was in two volumes at that point, but they're, they're, this is the uh, the original, the double album. Um, I don't think it's, I think the very first pressings of these had a silver cover, or at least they did in America. I'm not sure about it here, but yeah. strange cover with the whole kind of 50s nostalgia thing going on. But you know, brilliant track listing, um, it just works really well as a compilation, I think I, I, I do play this a lot. And then finally for the Beatles I've got the Live at the Hollywood Bowl, great live album, lots of uh, hysterical screaming on it and everything, but it, it does have a lot of energy to it. I think they're re-releasing this uh, in a remix format uh, in about a month's time, but um, I think the original is just a good record. I mean, it's, it's, it zaps along, you know, it's a really gives you a good idea of uh, the whole Beatlemania vibe, so good stuff. I um, haven't got too much solo Beatles, uh, mainly the McCartney and Lennon stuff really, I don't have any Harrison on vinyl. Um, McCartney, first pressing, great debut, very sort of uh, DIY, uh, some great tracks on it, so a bit of filler, but you know, it's, it's all got a great charm to it, very homespun. Ram, probably the best McCartney solo album in my opinion, I mean it's just wonderful isn't it really, what can you say? Every track on it is, is pretty stunning. Um, 
Venus and Mars. Sorry, well, Red, Red Rose Speedway, I should say. Um, yeah, not a bad little record. I think it's uh, a bit underrated. Um, got my love on it, of course, but I like it. Yeah. Uh, Band on the Run, obviously. Classic McCartney. Everyone, most people have that one. Uh, tug of War. Oh, hang on. Tug of War. Yeah, I like some of the stuff on this, and some of it's a bit 80s for me, and I'm not really a big fan of Ebony or Ivory. But you know, here today is great, and as is the title track. Lennon, around to him now. So, this is an original press of um, Plastic Ono Band, probably the, the classic Lennon album. It's got the White Apple. Um, great. Uh, imagine, just an early press, I think this might be a first press, or certainly um, it's from 1971. Uh, yeah, another great record. Then, uh, sometime in New York City, which um, I have to say, I don't really play this one very often, it's not particularly good. I think Leonard lost his way really at this point. There's, it's all a bit slogan y. Um, it's a couple of good tracks. New York City is a great track. Uh, but not too much to say about that. And finally, just the Lennon um, compilation Shave Fish, which is a you know, great cover. Pick this up for about I don't know, 50p in a charity shop. It's great, it's great nick. So that's it. So that's the Beatles so far. I do want to get some uh, more solo stuff on vinyl as and when I see it, it is in price. Particularly, um, I'd love to have All Things Was Passed, which I've only got on CD, which is probably my favourite Beatles solo album. Uh, anyway, that's, that's what I've got at the moment, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.